Hi. Hello. God love you. Thank you. <laughs> so you're already in character then, huh? God love you? Yes. It looks like you have a pencil shirt on your head. I, almost, uh, I was going to smash that. I thought it was a bird. It's kind of bird. Uh, we call it a dead cat. Oh, yeah? Dead yeah. We got a lot of uh, show. We're doing it. We're trying to sell it. What do you guys find so appealing about this whole story, this Midnight Texas? Um, the writing, first of all. I mean, we, got, we got hand in, at least I got hand in a script, and I looked at it and I was like, oh wow, somebody cares here. They care about the story and they care about the characters. Um, I love genre stuff in general because it tends to lend space for people. You know, where, and it's in our, it's a statement we're pushing out in here, like where outsiders fit in. I think the idea of entertaining people with story is fantastic. Fantastic, but it's also like a lifeline for a lot of us. You know, we're not alone. I think Midnight Texas gives us. Did that sound too serious? No, that was brilliant. <laughs> that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Um, so we find out what Joe is right away, which is a surprise because in the books you don't. Yes. Um, when are we going to find out the Reverend's deep dark secret? Episode two. Really? So you haven't seen episode two? Not yet. Uh, the Reverend is a war talk. When, when, no. when the comes, the Reverend has to feed and he grabs an animal and he does it in his basement and uh, what he's done usually is he has Olivia chain him chain the doors and lock him up in there so he doesn't get out and hurt him. Right. He doesn't, he doesn't want to do that. He just wants to eat and then he's fine. But he gets out. And he wreaks havoc. But that's and it, in, the, in the shape of a, a stunningly beautiful uh, very expensive you know, digital tiger. Right. Paid by the team for like from life of pot. So it's actually gorgeous. I, I, I could never live up to this tiger. <laughs> but uh, so it's really, really actually proud. The characters are also connected and they all protect each other in that town. How easy was it to cast to bond and get that kind of a vibe? I, I, personally, I can't stand this guy. <laughs> <laughs> we really don't like each other. Uh, no, we got everybody got along with yeah, this is a lot of time It really is kind of cool. Like I tell you, everybody's really nice and we actually, we're actually going to really get along. I mean, um, you know, we're, we're, we're supposed to sit here and tell you all these wonderful things. Uh, what's great about this is we don't have to like it. Yeah, this is actually for this real. Is, we're actually looking to talk. Yeah, this is a great group of people. Yeah. And people are really broad in and they make good and make that. So the wings, how was it when you saw the actual effects and saw so your good. body with those wings? So good. Uh, I mean, we went through a lot back and forth, uh, whether or not to do a practical or not. I mean, I did full body cast for it. But ultimately, I'm so glad they did them CG. Because again, our CG artists just really, really sent, it, uh, sent us a home and what they did. Um, I'm a geek from way back. Right? The fact that I get to be a, a creature that flies, it, it's really fun. <laughs> So the full body cast was for nothing? Ultimately it wasn't, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys gone through the activation down oh, there at Tinfish? Yeah. No? It, very cool. It's very, it's creepy. Yeah, it's, it's unbelievable. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's really it's cool. Like going into a theme park. <laughs> They're really leaning into the creepy, which I love. I couldn't believe how good that was. Yeah. I mean, bless NBC for how much they really got behind this yeah. show. And, uh, I agree with him. I mean, it's a really good man to say that the huge bucks. They really put their money for the bad guys. That's, you don't see that all the time. Usually you go like, yeah, really, yeah, you can like tell, you know, like, this is like, this is full of court press. Yeah. I didn't know there was a Midnight Texas Dog. Uh, as soon as it was announced, I'm a huge Charlene Harris fan, so as oh, soon right as it was announced that this was okay. even a possibility, oh, I went out and grabbed it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so I've had it for a year and a half. Yeah. What does Charlene have to say about you taking over that domain name? <laughs> She's fine with it. She doesn't have any problem with it. I'll go yeah. and ask her right now. Well, you can't. Amazing. Yeah. She's a spicy lady. Isn't she? Yeah. yeah. yeah.
<laughs> so creative. She's very creative. Yeah. So this whole world's living in her I mean, head. Look at some of the things she's done. I mean, she's turned genre pieces on their head. Like, we got the coolest vampire thing that has ever happened. You can leech energy. That is like one of the Where have you ever seen that? That's an original. It's very cool. Amazing. And I appreciate that because I can't handle the blood. <laughs> For those who haven't read the books, what's the tone? Is it creepy? Is it comedy? Is it a mixture? What, what do we got going on? Uh, we are definitely a blender of all of it. We've got sexy, fun, cool, heavy, scary, light. It's it's all in there. I mean, it's it's a big world. It's fun to play. In. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It really is. I mean, it's a it's, it's a fun you know sandbox. You know, for, and and the parameters are wide yeah, because it's all imaginative. So you know, you're not tied to you know, anything. It's really whatever the imagination does. I'm sorry, I can't hear a word. Oh man. Narcissistically, I love the episode that focuses on me. Yeah. <laughs> I love Nine. Nine's great. Nine's, nine's yeah. amazing. Yeah.